Welcome back. Is uh, we are well underway with our uh, synthetic empire. Yes, this is the fun playthrough that we're currently running. Uh, first episode ran out yesterday, so we got a time project that's currently going on. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, it is debris. These are the pirates we killed before. So let's have a quick look here. Yeah, those are the pirates that we uh, killed earlier. So let's go and build an additional science ship we currently cannot afford. Okay, that is perfectly fine. But for those people that are just tuned in and for the first time here and wondering, you got robots. Why are you playing as synthetic androids? Well, there is a mod available, uh, which allows you to play as the robots. So this uh, allows you for a lot of flexibility. However, it does add the magnificence that is uh, the synthetic android with all of the problems that come with them. Uh, they have a serious problem in terms of energy, uh, their energy consumption is super high, which causes all sorts of hilarious problems that you need to uh, nab in the butt very early on. Uh, yesterday, I uh, did an additional playthrough on the side just for funsies, just to play ahead a little bit and see uh, what would happen in certain scenarios. And uh, yeah, let's put it this way, long story short, I started out on a ring world. And uh, even then, I was having problems keeping up in per terms of production. Uh, yeah, considering we are starting on a, ser uh, on a single world now with uh, limited production values, this may cause some issues in the long run. So let's build a power hub here. We're going to need more power in the long run. And power, wow, we're just seven energy in this system. That is a huge amount of energy. Uh, may, probably should not have actually spent that on a pop right there but then again we'll get additional energy out of it and we are plus 20 in the mineral count which is fine for now we haven't made first contact yet anywhere which uh you know it's it's okay uh i'm gonna let this here time out well we still got 153 1500 days remaining so a bit over three years to uh, get to this point which is fine there's a lot of flexibility we have here. And like I mentioned before, we haven't found any alien species yet, uh, which means that we're currently looking pretty strong in terms of our uh, our play here. We've done some initial uh, looking around to see if there are any wor worlds nearby that are interesting. I haven't actually found anything in terms of decent worlds aside from these desert worlds that are it's just scattered around. So we got around five worlds down here that we can look at. There's a Desert World Size 19. There's a Desert 10, a Gaia 14, and a Desert 17. So these these ones already, these three, will be our core worlds. And we got another, wow, Size 25. One over here. Let's take a look at our new research options and what we can do. Uh, leader lifespan and food we do not need because we look at our policies. You can see that uh, our synthetics are effectively immortal. So that's not really an issue. Resource, uh, alien pets is useful for the happiness bonus that we can get from an alien zoo as soon as we uh, build that. So that is all good. And the research for gravimetric sensors, that one's really important. I'll tell you why, because it allows us to go to more research chains down the line, which gives us special resources to upgrade all of our stuff. Deflectors is really good because it allows us to uh, get the initial deflectors set up. Uh, pirates have been taken care of. As far as I know, there's probably a pirate base somewhere around that we currently don't know where it is. But um, yeah, we had a neutral alien popping in and say hi to the alien, uh, to the pirates. And they were like, yo, what's going on here? And uh, we're going to wreck you now. That's exactly what happened, so that was pretty good from uh, our perspective. Alright, let's see what we got here. We can upgrade this uh, this uh, biobasic science lab. I'm not going to do it because we're already low on energy. Uh, if we would upgrade it to a bio lab, it would uh, cost more maintenance, which is something that I'm not too keen on. This time of this mining network is something I want because of the additional points in mineral income. Engineering facility, we're looking good. Batharian stone, that one right there is the one we want. And I will tell you why, because it's plus six energy for every Batharian stone that we have with a reactor attached to it. So it's a limited resource. We can only have one of them uh, used at once. So if we have one available, we can use one. If we have two, we have two, etc., etc. So that right there is already really good. So from an energy point of view, huge deal, huge, huge, huge deal. 
We want to keep our eye on that because it's so important, especially to these Android races, because they they just eat energy by the ton, by the absolute ton. Let's take a look here. Primary Alpha, a Synthetic Android, Upkeep. Uh, it's not clear actually where it says this, but they use they use energy instead of food. I think it's one energy per pop. Okay, anomaly found. Uh, ancient precursor civilization in the vicinity of this gas giant could be decent. Maybe it could unlock one of the cool chains that we have available. Currently, are running the habitable world survey, which is fine. Will give us uh, additional points in the long run. Did we have make? Did we make any first contact? Yeah, we have four possible alien species that we can make first contact with. Finishes in 180 days, so let's just do all of these at once. It means 180 days of no research in the social department, but that's something we can handle for now. Okay, so construction ship, we need to get energy. So build a mining station here. We can build two more. Build another one here and another one here. Yeah, we could have just right-clicked on the star and say, yo, research all, build all of these, but... Yeah, we will just keep it as it is. Uh, alien Menace. What is this? These are just standard aliens. So that's nothing. Yes, the Cybrex! The All right, okay. So uh, I am kind of excited about this one because the Cybrex are by far the coolest one in the chain. And that has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, it's still a Easter egg hunt trying to find their worlds. It's about what's at the end of the chain. I'll tell you now, it uh, it rhymes with Ingworld, or Dingworld. That's what it, that's what it ends with. The Cybrex. We have recovered artifacts of an alien civilization on Gribbon Two. Incredibly, this civilization, which apparently referred to the itself as the Cybrex, seemed to have made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age of the artifact indicated they were active some six hundred thousand years ago. In this portion of the galaxy, at least. But we have learned nothing of their exact origins. According to a partial data fragment our scientists managed to extract from one of the artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sentient life in the galaxy for reasons Situation. unknown. Oh, this is great. I love the Cybrex. Like, the one problem I do have with this game is this. So, everything is random in this particular context. We gotta find random Cybrax artifacts to locate their capital world. And this is annoying because, like I said, it's like an Easter egg, hu Easter egg hunt where you think you're looking for Easter eggs, but the A, they're the size of a planet, and B, you have no idea where they are. Normally, it would be in a field, but in this case, they are several hundred parsecs across from each other. So that is not really all that practical, but uh, so far, so good. All right, did I research... Uh, did I research the Habitable World Interplanetary Expedition Forces? I did not research Habitable Worlds yet. Okay, that is annoying, so we'll need to get that soon. Yeah, I didn't go for the initial uh, colony ship stuff because I want to build up my Capital World System first. Complete. Just to get the additional resources there. Gribbon system has been fully... Special project oh, cool. So special project complete. That's these one. That's a Tianki. Those special are neutrals. Uh, space project. Amoebas, special which are neutral. Uh, the Crystallines, those are neutral as well, although they will attack you on site. Special... Yeah, the, the special project is great as well. Uh, Conduit of Condu the Divine, it must be studied. The Void Clouds, yeah. So now we have all the three basic neutral enemies in the game. So Space Amoeba, Crystallines, and Void Clouds. And those will all unlock their own little event chains. Let's get another science ship up and running so we can explore a little bit faster, especially now that we have the Cybrax uh, event chain running. And we want to get to the Cybrax event chain because that ring world at the end, man, the amount of research we can get out of that is substantial, to say the least. Huge deal. Huge deal anomaly right there. Found. Ooh, another anomaly. A colossal impact crater. Um, let's research it. It could be a Cybrex thing. Same with this one, actually. Uh, space Mimibas forever. 
RNA lays secretions due to the bidding of the host. These flagella are capable of manipulating and even attacking objects in an impressive yet restrictive range around the host. Interesting. All right, so these are the the amoeba. So basically, they're attack boats. They're they're fighter craft. Very expensive technology, though. Uh, it's it's one of the rare technologies that you can get. I think it's in the society or engineering research uh, part, but expensive but useful to say the least. Let's go and get. We can easily get a new researcher here. Anomaly research speed. Mm. It's not the greatest, but it'll have to do. Okay, let's uh, send this bad boy out to start surveying systems that... Okay, um, no, let's not do it like this. Let's do it like this right here, and this, and this, and this, and this. Just so we can get some initial research underway here. And then we can level him up as well. And he'll live forever anyway, so it's not really a problem. Um, desert world. Let's take a look at our surface area. Can we build any more energy? Mm, we have 190, actually. So can we get more energy out of construction is the real pr uh, question right here. Asteroid co collision. Ooh, plus three. That's uh, really nice already. So we get plus three out of this world. There's a lot of worlds that we can potentially colonize already. Like, a lot within our range. Very impressive so far. Okay, we got an alien military installation. Uh, let's not go down that route. Let's go down here. And hopefully we can find some Cybrax stuff. Uh, also, I'm not interested at, at all to, to get any star charts out. Star charts are... like at, at first glance, star charts are great. Like, trading star charts with an alien species. Hey, you know exactly what's going on, what, where, and how. Does mean that you can no longer... Uh, actually survey those worlds and get any bonuses out of it. Alien proto-civilization. Fascinating. Where are these guys? Phantom 3. Alien Stone Age primitives. So they're not really all that interesting. Uh, additional mining. So we get mandate bonus there. Let's take a look at our capital and see if we can get some edicts running here. Capacity overload. Absolutely. Propaganda broadcast. What gives us plus 10 happiness. How are we doing in happiness here? Um, 81%. Mm, less productive and more maximum happiness for or is limited by the habitability of the planet. Yeah, that's not really our problem. Okay, so we are just bouncing around trying to find stuff. And yes, I am referring to it as stuff. Okay, let's uh, clear this one right here. And as soon as that is done, we can get another energy plant going. Also, I want to build another construction ship because considering we're AI or synthetics, uh, okay, uh, elect prime technocrat, that's fine. What can he do? Monthly influence, edict cost, and duration has been decreased and increased respectively. But yeah, the amount of energy we have right now is pretty good, but we want to keep our eye on it. We need to keep that balance as much as possible because, again, they are very expensive in upkeep considering you know we're not using any food. All right, uh, these are done. Oh my god, we've got so much energy here. Special projects. Uh, that's a construction ship, so more energy would be good. The more energy we can get, the better. I could have sworn there was more than five here. No, there is five in here. Uh, and then we need to go and get this one as well, but we're lacking minerals right now. For now, getting the energy in place is, is preferable. Okay, we got another construction ship. Another medieval aliens, okay. Uh, Galan. Okay, that's a habitable world survey. We get money and society research out of that. And the pool is pretty big, so that's nice. And we have found another uh, an alien species. Uh, cool. This is failure risk zero anomaly level two. So this is probably a Cybrex anomaly. Research complete. Okay. Deflectors, nice. Ooh, improved deflectors. And blue lasers. Uh, yeah, we're totally on the on the weapon gravy train here. Let's upgrade our fleet. It's going to cost a little bit of dam... Uh, a little bit of... Uh, okay, what's this? Uh, Spaceborne amoeba. Hmm. Let's not worry too much about that for now. They're, gonna, they're just going to warp out anyway. Great space organism. They are pretty. Ooh. 
they are moving towards the center of this system, though. That is worrying. That is kind of worrying. I hope they're not going to attack. Okay. Oh, the abandoned amusement park. Uh, they're useless to us. But we do get some society and engineering research out of that, which is nice. Uh, construction ship. We need you. You got plus plus 20 energy credits. Uh, let's go and build a mining station out here just for the additional energy. Uh, this one. Are we I thought we were mining this. Are we not mining this? Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, we are mining this. Okay. So we're setting up to mine this at the moment. I'm a bit worried about this bad boy over here. Uh, is he actually tracking us, though? That is a real question. Or is he just passing through? And just going to the star in the center to gain energy? Doesn't look like... Is he tracking... He's not going straight for the ship. Okay, so we got aliens. They are collectivists, xenophobic, and materialistic. Hegemonic imperialists. Okay, um, you tend to unlock technologies your feeble minds cannot comprehend. Do not interfere. Uh, yeah, you are blasphemers and uh, etc. So one thing that I have actually noticed looking at this uh, this alien race we've set up or this synthetic race we set up, if we actually go to our species tab and we look at our specific specifications, uh, I've realized something rather interesting. Um, Considering we are xenophobic, we are militarist and spiritualists, we've effectively built the Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. And I mean the reboot from the 2000s and not the original 1970s uh, by your command um, Cylons. But yeah, they are uh, xenophobic. They don't like others. They're militaristic. Well, we destroyed 13 colonies and they got a spiritualistic element to them. So yeah, they are definitely the Cylons. Okay, it looks like we're doing okay here. This guy is just eating some energy from the star. That's fine with me. Okay, where did these assholes come from? Okay, they're up here. That's not really a problem. They built a military station up there, but I'm not too worried about that. They do have two worlds now. Could be potentially an issue. The amount of energy we have and resources we have is quite good. So let's build a pop. It will cost us 100 energy. And let's build a power plant on top of that. Can I not build a power hub, though? Mm, it doesn't appear to be the case. I don't have the planetary upgrades for that just yet. Hmm. Okay. So blue laser, xenology, and batharian stone. That's the important one right here. Let's go to, let's go to plaid. This system's looking pretty strong, actually. Okay, so the scientist has leveled up. That's great. System survey complete. Uh, let's move you to here. When's this running out? Uh, this is running out 309. Let's uh, get this underway now, just so we can get some science out of it. So this system has now been surveyed. And let's move you here. Ah, the alien species procurement. Situation yes. updated. So the alien species procurement is actually quite cool. Um, let's go track all of these. I wish there was a track all button. Okay. Because the amount of research we can get out of this is actually quite substantial. Oh, this is a, this is this is very compact. This is probably the most compact I've ever seen it before. Uh, what do we need? Do we need a level three or a level two? Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, okay, so this science ship. So this one. Can we do this one? No, we cannot. Even though it is within our reach. Okay, so this scientist is now leveled. Uh, let's set this scientist to research this one. Let's just do all the all these tiny aliens before... Uh, I'm actually really happy that it spawns so close to each other, which is very helpful. Uh, this one, oh wow, there's three in a system right here, which is really nice. And that's, that's probably the most compact one I've seen in a while. 
uh, in terms of getting these uh, these alien species uh, researched. And they're just animals anyway, so they go straight into... Like, I, I like it when it really spawns this close together. Because uh, it gives you so much more flexibility. Okay, so we're doing okay on the research department. This construction ship. Got 24 energy a turn. Or a turn is a bit of a... Bit of a random. Research complete. Okay, so research has been completed. It's Batharian stone. So now we go and have a look at whether or not we can actually build any Batharian stone. If we found anything. It doesn't look like it's the case. So that is a bit of a shame, but we will keep our eye on it. In the meantime, let's get some more mining stations up and running. That will cost us 180 for just this particular system. Uh, I want to avoid putting it around this world, or Gribben. Didn't I have an alien species? My, there's the Miner Mandate. Yeah, we do need to make sure that this system isn't lost. So the Continental and Oceanic. So we don't know what these guys are. Let's, uh... Yeah, they're minus 73 because of new contact, border friction, xenophobia, and we're spiritualist fools. So let's set up an embassy with these guys just in case. How we're doing actually in terms of fleet power. They are superior to us in fleet power for the moment. Mass drivers, nanocomposite materials, physics and engineering research. That's good. And a little bit of bonuses out of that. Cool. Uh, how much? 270 for all these minerals. Okay, that's a bit on the expensive side, but we can handle it. Notice that I'm actually not putting any research platforms down at the moment. Okay, that's the Golantha herd. Good. Uh, I don't know why uh, robots are so interested in build and getting aliens. Because, you know, normally we would just purge them on site. But uh, semantics, I guess. Uh, ooh, an anomaly. Mm, yes. Ooh. Ancient Precursor Civilization. Yes, absolutely. Very good. Very, very good. Very useful. Ooh, we get a lot of resources out of this. Okay, let's go and mine this. And one thing that I also find annoying is that you cannot get construction fleets. Like, the amount of resources it costs to a build stuff is the same. Cybrex Research Station. Awesome. Situation log updated. Okay, so the Cybrex Research Station... Uh, we need a scientist of skill five or higher. Damn, son, that is ridiculous. Uh, we have a level five. So let's go and take a look here at the go to and then set up this bad boy to go and research this as soon as he's done all the habitable world stuff. But the, the Cybrex research station, great one right there. Okay, 124. Let's go and see if we can do any... Set up any additional research right now. Uh, it will cost 180 here. Mining station, not practical, not practical. We do need to keep these ships busy, though. Here we go, mining station. So, mining station is doing fine. We are going very nicely with the alien species specimen procurement, which will give us so much um, of the society research. Right now, we got 259 in storage. Cool. I'm going to see an exobiology is, nice, is happy. See, there we go. 90. 90 of this already. Research very, very useful. All right, here we go. Uh, border range plus 20%. Yes, please. I s did I completely not? Yeah, colony ship. I do have them. Why am I being such a dumbass? Uh, 350 minerals. Considering we're getting 30 a month, totally doable. So, But yeah, the Cybrex stuff. So cool. I really want I really want to have access to that ring world. Not so much because of the ring world, because the one we will find is completely broken. But the amount of engineering research we get out of it, plus living metal. Huge deal. Huge deal. Alright, ion thruster. Yeah, the billable pops. Mark twos. We'll basically improve our science output by a hundredfold. Okay, this one has finished construction here. Uh, let's get some more mining out of this. It's plus 27. There's the tar black. Let's go to our capital. Um, yeah, right now. Let's uh, just save up for a colony ship for now. Cool. Environmental engineer. Completely useless, but hey, whatever. 
that is Alpha Prime. Um, yeah, construction and block clear blocker time. Yeah, definitely. That's totally what we needed right now. Okay. But the amount of colonies we can already build is significant. Very significant. Uh, okay, there's an anomaly. Life science, atmosphere of this gas giant. Biosphere. Uh, let's leave it for now because it's not interesting. It's also uh, the 30% 30, 30 chance of, uh, of of failure rate is pretty high. We did we just make first contact with a species? Rixie, avian. Where are these assholes? Mammalian. Where are these guys? Oh, these are just... These are just... Anomaly yeah. Found. Here we go. Abandoned ship. Massive sails. Risk 15. Let's do it. With a bit of luck, we can get some more Cybrex out of it. But this one right here. Cybrex Research Station. My god, there's six and seven down here? Uh, yeah. Frontier Outpost, go. Uh, we need that. Like, that totally makes up. Solar Sailor! A primitive design. 60 engineering points. Very nice. This is what I really like about the, the, the first game, the first the first hundred years of Stellaris are just such solid gameplay. Like, going out there, discovering new stories and going for little projects that are just little wild goose chases across the universe. It is just so good. It is just so fun and it's such a solid experience and I love every single second of it. Okay, so we have enough money for a colony ship. We can probably build two very soon. Uh, I'm actually going to build two. And then it's just Corvettes until dawn, pretty much. There we go. There's a second one. An alien menace. Mm, alien menace. Okay, is this guy... That's a utility ship. Oh, yeah, he's building the, he's building the uh, frontier outpost down here. We should increase our board, our distance, anyway. But yeah, we have the opportunity to build so many colonies already. And considering our energy income, uh, already looking very strong. There's Cenarin. How many more are we looking here? Alien species procurement. We're just waiting for two more. And I think they're both in the same system as well, so... Uh, you. You are this guy. Okay, I need to survey this system as well because it's in the range of our capital. Blue lasers. Good. Ah, energy storage too. Very nice. Let's upgrade our fleet. So we get a bit more power out of it. Just slap blue lasers on all of them. We're just waiting for that to finish. One moment. Uh, it's not an election. Uh, that will cost 50. What do we want out of this? Monthly influence, charismatic. Corvette build cost, ship cost. That's a good bonus. In credit, energy credits, ship cost. Spaceport, spaceport. Let's continue on with this guy because the additional points in the influence department are pretty good. Okay, he's researched everything up out here. He's now level 3. As soon as that is done, I'm going to go and send you here as well. If I can get there. That's dangerous. Dangerous. Ah, here's the colony ship. So, let's start building our first colony. Desert World 10. Uh, Desert World 29. Gaia World Desert World 29. 24 even. Yeah, 19. 14. Uh, Desert World 25. It's this one. It has to be this one. There's no other choice, really. Also, it will increase our t uh, our territory. So, we need to take a look here. What is the optimal place here in terms of adjacency bonuses? Mm, considering we're an energy-based race, I would go for... Yeah, there's not many good options here, actually. Mm. I will plop you down right here. Okay, there is the specimen. I think we have only one more specimen remaining. Yes, we do. And it's being researched right now. And our worlds are expanding rapidly. It's going to cost a bit of money a turn, but that's totally, totally acceptable. And we're off to a great start. This is probably one of the best starts I have. And there's the first synthetic android colony. 
and a great day for the Synth Collective. Uh, let's go and get some construction on the way on these mining stations. 450 totally worth it. Six energy, seven minerals. That is a huge amount of resources. An absolutely staggering amount of resources. And we're pretty much making 45 a turn anyway, so it is not a problem whatsoever. Uh, research station here. Be a bit expensive. We get four a month. Uh, taking a look down here. Okay, there's a new contact. Uh, sacred arms, whatever. Okay, they're all the way down there. Excellent. The species specimens have been secured. We get energy credits, influence, and society research by the bucket load. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Synthetic Uprising, where we play as the robots. No, John. You are the robots. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.